Oh my god, it's four o'clock in the morning. This is not why do whole shows start so early? I'm so tired. Anyway, I'm dressed and I'm about to pass out. What was this? What is this? I don't know. It's the 4am wake up sign apparently. It's really windy so you're probably not going to be able to hear me very well but we had the car all hitched up. We did that last night and all packed and stuff so we didn't have to do it this morning. And then because Riley's not very good, he's not a very good floater and it's dark, we put like lights all in the float. We got them on both sides which actually and then we also put that so those ones are much better but yeah so we've got that on both sides so the floats nice and light even though it's probably going to be a bit brighter by the time we're floating anyway what time is it it's like just after five we're still waiting for caitlin to get here and we're going to give them breakfast on the float with our nice feed buckets that we tied up way too close we thought i thought that it was going to be too far away but it turns out they're too close to here anyway I'm sorry about the terrible quality of this first video. The rest are fine because I airdropped them. This one got sent to me though. Anyway, this is our 50 centimeter round. Um, this was the first round, so he was quite spooky. You can see there he over jumped the first jump quite a lot and the second one as well. Um, overall, it was a pretty easy course. There was a few tight turns, but nothing too bad. And there was a few fillers on the side and I, one plank there, which you can see the polka dot thing. Um, Dazzle board, that's what they're called. Yeah, so it was kind of just a bit all over the place. You can see he was kind of swinging out there and we went at a really bad angle. But he did jump everything and he just got one rail, which was the same rail he got in every single class. Even when I got him a good stride to it, he would still knock it. I, I don't know. It was the first of the double, so I think he was just looking at the second jump. Anyway, so you can see here, this is five and six. He started to gain a bit of confidence and he jumped that board quite confidently he did over jump it quite a bit but anyway now we're going up to what's well, obviously seven because that was six and then there's a double it's all kind of it's a bit it's almost a triple but the, it's a bit too long so you can see he spooked at that little thing and kind of just yeah it was a bit awkward this whole round was just a bit all over the place but once he did this round he was a lot more confident for his 60 centimeter rounds so Number nine, um, did he look at, I don't think he really cared about those um, fences on the side, the white fencing. And then you have to go all the way around to get to number 10. And this arena was also quite deep, the sand, so that also wasn't great. But I, yeah, I'm happy with him for this round and it was a really good confidence boost for him because his 60s were much nicer. So. I was just doing 160 originally, but I decided to do two after the first 60 because he kind of knocked the last three poles and I just wanted to end on a better note. So this is the first 60 centimeter round, which started off really nice. And then after he knocked one pole, I don't know if I stopped riding or what happened, but uh, yeah, it kind of just went to shit. Oh, I'm going to have to take out. No, I can't be bothered. I was going to say I have to blur out that. Blur out. Um audio out I don't know anyway so you can see he's much more confident here this feel he's still a bit unconfident with I think he tr I, he trotted up to it every time mainly the turn was quite tight as well but that line there he did much nicer than he did in the 50 centimeter where he kind of flung out and then five and six he jumped nicely every time I think um he got quite nice striding and then that was cute his spider legs <laughs> and then we come back round to seven and then the eight bit which he knocks every time and that's where it kind of just like i don't know so seven was fine and then he knocks he only just knocked that and then cleared he cleared the b of the 
double and then knocks this one too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, which I don't know why he really knocked that because <clears throat> his stride was all right. The stride to the last one was terrible, which is mainly why I wanted to do it again because I just stopped riding, which I kind of do sometimes at the last jump, which is bad. And he kind of just, he was like, oh, do I go, do I not? And then I'm pretty sure he took like a half long spot. I don't really remember what we're about to see. Yeah, so, no, it was just, I don't even know what happened there. So this is the second 60 round, which I was really, really happy with. He still got one pole at the first, um, at the A of the double. So I don't know why, because he got nice striding to it, but whatever, I'm not worried about that. And he did actually get, well, this round was non-competitive, but he placed second in his 50, because there was only two people in the class. But then in his first 60, he actually somehow got, third don't know how but he did even with all his polls i think we were just on got a good time because it was optimum time anyway don't really have much else to say about this course anymore watched it go around three times but i'm really happy with how his confidence went up through all these rounds and um he is still struggling a bit with his leads but they were much better the last round than they were in the 50 centimeter and that was cute See, look here, he got, a, I mean, it could have been, it was a tiny bit deep, but yeah, I don't know why he kept knocking that. I think he was just focusing on the jump in front, maybe. Got him a bit deep into that. I got him a bit deep into all the last three because I was kind of worried. Um, I didn't want to go long, try to get him to do a longer one because I was worried he was going to knock it. So this last one here, I went for a bit of a deeper stride and he jumped nicely from it because I just didn't want to do a long stride, which is what I tried to do in the first 60. And he was like, oh no, I can't do that. And then just like hopped over it. So that was, yeah. So he was a good boy and now here's me washing him because I forgot to vlog basically all day. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I was really bad at vlogging today. Also, my skin looks really bad right now. Is it like a better angle where you can't see as much? Yeah, so we're back, obviously. Uh, there was just no time to vlog. I was basically just waiting on him because I didn't realize how long it would take. So I wasn't like untacked. I wasn't untacking between and going back and then I just couldn't be bothered videoing, tacking up and stuff like that. But, I mean, I would have already talked a bit about my rounds in my voiceover, I'm sure. But he was good. The 50 was very spooky, like I imagined. But he jumped everything. He got one pole, which was the same pole he knocked every time. He got a few other poles in his first 60. And then in the second 60, because I entered another 60 just last, oh, last minute to get our 60 a bit better. I got in the perfect striding to it and he still knocked it. So I don't know what it was about that. But yeah, so the 50 was very spooky, but he still went round everything and he got a second place ribbon, but there was only two people in the class. So, and then we did a 60 centimeter, which started off really good. And then we knocked a pole and then we knocked the next three poles. <laughs> so then I was like, and the last jump, I kind of didn't count the stride. And I was just like, you know, when you're like, oh, last jump, it's like, you kind of stop riding. Which is, I don't know, I just do that sometimes. Because I'm like, oh, it's all done. Anyway, so he kind of just, that was gross and he went through it a bit. So then I went and asked to do another 60 and that was much better. He got like all, I got, all the distances were really nice. And yeah, he just got that one pole, which was annoying because the distance to it was perfect. My glasses are glaring so much. And he also got a third somehow for his first 60 centimeter. He must have been close to optimum time. I don't know. But so I'm pretty happy with him. The whole environment, he dealt with it very well. And yeah, first competitive 60 centimeter round wasn't bad. Obviously, lots of room for improvement. But I'm really happy with his second round. It, was really, it felt really nice. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. 
Um, I'm not sure what the next one will be, but I will see you whenever that happens. Until next time, goodbye. I, I, I'm trying to think of like, I never know what to say at the end because I'm like, bye. I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe, goodbye.